Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein in the hot seat yesterday over allegations of political bias in Robert Mueller's spe special counsel staff. This is disgusting, unaccountable bias. High-ranking FBI officials involved in the Clinton investigation were personally invested in the outcome of the election. The public trust in this whole thing is gone. Not a single solitary American he can imagine would vote for Donald Trump. This is the conflict of interest free, special agent assigned. Joining us right now, one of those lawmakers you just saw, chairman of the House Judiciary Committee, Republican congressman from the great state of Virginia, Bob Goodlett. Uh, congressman, good morning to you. Good morning. You know, uh, I think uh, Jim Jordan just touched on it a moment ago, the confidence of the American public in the FBI, because we've heard all these people's names and their ties to Clint, uh, Hillary Clinton and uh, anti-Trump stuff. What sort of confidence do you have in the FBI and this particular investigation? Well, this is all about the apparent politicization of our justice system. You know, the American people expect justice to be represented by that blindfolded woman with the balanced scales. And that's not what we're seeing here. And what's going on in the Mueller uh, investigation, the special counsel's investigation, goes all the way back to uh, early last year. And of all of these texts and uh, email messages uh, from Peter Strzok. Uh, this one is the one that concerns me the most. Uh, he says, uh, in particular, I direct you to uh, text from Strzok to Page on August 15, 2016. I want to believe the path that you threw out for consideration in Andy's office. There's no way he gets elected, but I'm afraid we can't take that risk. It's like an insurance policy in the unlikely event you die before you're 40. Andy is presumably Andrew McCabe, the deputy director of the Federal Bureau of Investigation, still the deputy director, by, I might add, of the Federal Bureau of Investigation. And this text is very troubling because it suggests that they're doing something. They have a plan to take action to make sure that Donald Trump does not get elected president of the United States in the highest levels of the Federal Bureau of Investigation. That is deeply troubling, and that has now infected uh, the independent special counsel uh, examination yeah. by Robert Mueller. Well, it does look as if uh, President Obama's Department of Justice was colluding with Hillary Clinton's campaign to destroy Donald Trump. Uh, but ultimately, uh, Mr. Rosenstein, yesterday, a number of times, every time you'd ask a different question about, well, what about Bruce Orr or what about this person? He kept going back to the fact that he couldn't elaborate because the inspector general was doing an investigation. The big question to you, Chairman, is, do you trust the inspector general to get to the bottom of whether or not these agents have a bias that impacted their work? Well, it's very important that the inspector general do get to the bottom of this. I've worked with him closely for years, worked with him on this investigation. He has cooperated with the investigation that Trey Gowdy, chairman of the Oversight Committee, and I have launched because we've called upon the Department of Justice to appoint a second special counsel to look into all of this. And as the evidence mounts that there's a need for an investigation by someone who has prosecutorial uh, uh, abilities sure. uh, is very important. And the independent, uh, the uh, inspector general can, can do an internal investigation report but doesn't have prosecutorial authority. Neither does the Congress, by the way. So that's why it's important for a second right. special counsel to be appointed to investigate this. But you do have oversight over the FBI, and that's Absolutely. why, that's why you and were that's there. Absolutely. And that's what we were doing yesterday. Indeed. All right.